Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqim. And God just put this word on my spirit. And this word is, can you be self-delivered? Can you be self-delivered? Do you have faith that God can deliver you from any sin, from any stronghold, from any power, from any principality, and so on and so forth? Do you believe that God can do that for you? Or do you believe you got to go to like a pastor, you know, a prophet, a prophetess? I'm not saying you can't be delivered from a pastor or a prophet or a prophetess. Like you can be delivered from somebody. But you also can be self-delivered by the power of God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through your faith. And I got a testimony myself. I've been self-delivered many times. Many times. You know, going through the sin I was battling, lust, and God delivered me like three times, maybe more, who knows, but I give all glory to the God for his mercy and his grace. So you can be delivered multiple times from the same sin, right? That's why, you know, we all fall short of the glory of God. And God, he just picks us all back up. His grace and mercy endures forever because he loves us so much. So you can be delivered multiple times from the same sin. You know, it's like how people say they've been baptized. Some people three times, some people five times, right? But you're not truly baptized until you get the Holy Spirit. Amen. But first, to be self-delivered, you have to acknowledge that you have a stronghold. You have to acknowledge that you have a sin that's keeping you in bondage, which that could be lust, gluttony, pride, you know, greed, wrath, and idol worship, you know, witchcraft, voodoo, all, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all different types of sins. Any form of unrighteousness is sin. And when you acknowledge that, now... Like it says in James 4 and 7 that I'm about to read for you. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So first and foremost, you have to submit your life to God. Now, by submitting your life to God, you're going to start keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Because Jesus said if you love him, you keep his law, statutes, and commandments, right? Don't be just a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. That's in James. And once you start doing that, and when you start resisting the devil, you're going to get attacked. Because the devil don't want to set you free. He want to keep you in that sin. He want to keep you in bondage. And depending on how long you was in that sin, it's going to be hard, harder to break free. So say you was in the sin for like five years. You're going to get attacked, you know, because the devil want to keep you in bondage. He want to send you to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal of the devils and his minions. They want to send you to hell. They want to keep you in that shame, that guilt, that negative mindset, and that stress. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, you can be set free in Jesus' mighty name. Claim it, receive it, believe it in Jesus' name. I promise you. And... You gonna start. You gonna know too when you are delivered. You gonna know. You gonna feel a weight just come off your body, right? And God gonna touch you, right? Don't don't fear the presence of God. A lot of us can be mentally scarred due to sin that we allowed in our life, right? And that takes time to heal. Like you could be delivered from the demon. But now you got to go through the sanctification process. Now you got to go through the healing process. And that takes time. And you go through that healing process quicker by staying in the presence of God. Staying in his word, prayer and fasting, and meditating on the word of God. And staying just in a positive vibration. Amen. And as you're doing that, I promise you, and you have your faith, it's gonna, hey, it could be quick. God could do miraculous, miraculous work. Don't limit God. Amen. Open up your ambitious mind. Where is it, Bruce Lee?
Amen. And like in Mark 5 and 34, when Jesus was healing that woman who was had a blood issue for 12 years. And she just knew if she touched him, she would, she would be made whole. But she touched him, you know, out of turn. And he knew that someone touched him. And she was, she trembled. And she was fearful because she didn't want to come face to face with Jesus. But she revealed herself to him. She, she was on her knees. And he just told her that thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. So your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will make you whole. Just like it made her whole. After 12 years of having a problem with her blood. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Nothing is too hard for our Heavenly Father. And I just pray that you can have the strength to really fight off that sin that you're struggling with. Because I know it's hard. It's hard. The devil going to keep attacking you. He knows exactly what you like. He knows exactly the things that can entice you to draw you back in. And that's why you really got to guard your eyes, guard your ears, and guard your mind. Like I said before, I've been self-delivered so many times from lust and from, you know, gluttony and all type of sins, right? And God can do it all. He can deliver you. He can heal you, sanctify you, make you into a new man or woman of God. Amen. And just like when Jesus purged the legion of demons out of that man in the cave and in the tombs where people was fearful to even approach this man because he broke through the chains. He broke through with the broke through the man who's trying to tame him. No one could tame this man. But Jesus set this man free. From all his demons, everybody was scared of him because he was insane. He was psychopathic, right? He used to be in the tombs and in the caves, cutting himself day and night, crying. And why is that? You gotta understand, what's the purpose of a demon? The purpose of a demon is to destroy the vessel it inhabits. And to destroy anybody around, around it as well. The sole purpose to steal, kill, and destroy. To just destroy your whole life. Your whole livelihood. That's the purpose of a demon. Demon lusts are never satisfied. Never satisfied. That's why the flesh is corruptible. But the spirit is everlasting in peace. Amen. So, by that man being in the tomb, he was cutting himself day and night. And Jesus seeing the pain that this man was in by these demons tormenting him. You could have more than one demon inside you. Like this man had a legion of demons in him. But Jesus delivered him from them all. And if Jesus can deliver someone from a legion of demons, and I believe a legion of demons is like three or probably like 6,000 to 12,000, right? Of demons so if he can deliver somebody from that many demons he can deliver you from any stronghold you are facing and I pray this video helped you I pray you got edified from this video resist the devil and he will flee from you I will drop more information in the description and I pray this video bless you God bless you all in Jesus name